Hello to pros and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is your boy Alvin Drill. As you can see, I'm in front of my monitor and I have this message as soon as I turn on the machine. Time of the day not set, please run setup program or invalid configuration information, please run setup program. So this happens every time I turn on the machine after I have disconnected it from the power. Either I move it, can be a laptop, can be a desktop, I put it somewhere else and this happens. So at the top left, you can see this is a Dell machine. However, you can have an HP, a Lenovo, you build it yourself, the process is the same. And a similar error is going to show up here. So the product name is Optiplex 3040. You can see the system BIOS. I have done a bit in the past for this specific model on which I upgrade the BIOS version that it has and another on which I reset the BIOS password. So if you're interested in that, you can, I'm going to leave the link in the description below for those videos. So now if I go to BIOS setup at the bottom right, as you can see me doing over here, the machine is going to reboot and it's going to take me directly to the BIOS. So I go to date and time, and you can see that the, that the date is July 14, 2022, which obviously is incorrect because I'm recording this video in September, 2025. And the time is also not not accurate so i have done that in the past and like i said when i i save it it's going to show me the right time but when, once i disconnect it from the power and turn it on again it's going to show me uh, the wrong data one more time so okay so we don't have much to do here i'm going to shut down the machine allow me a few seconds to adjust my camera over here so this is the machine the dell optiplex so i'm going to disconnect from the power as you can see over here i'm not going to disconnect um, the the cable from the monitor because it doesn't really make a difference and now i'm going to remove the cover over here so very simple like this like i said this can be a hp lenovo can be a laptop the process is similar uh, what we're going to do so this is the fan for the processor this is my ssd at the bottom is the power supply for the machine and what we are looking for is this and before doing that i'm going to show you that i'm not wearing any jewelry or watches and i'm going to discharge of any static electricity that i might have in my body by touching the metallic case for a few seconds that way i don't damage the circuitry so what we are looking for is this coin like battery over here the shape is always the same like this one so this one has to be replaced so that's why it's asking us to set the time uh, all every time we disconnect from the power because this battery is not save it, it, it ran out of power so it cannot save the configuration anymore so it has uh, to remove it you can use a plain head screwdriver or your fingers as you can see there is this like what, what do you call it like a button over here and with the plain head screwdriver we're going to push it a little like this and it's going to jump very simple, you don't need to touch the motherboard at all. So, this is how it looks, you can see the brand over there. And now I'm going to replace it by another one, a new one. So the important part, in my case, is going to be a Duracell, and the important part is CR2032. That's the important part, that's the specific model that we need. And I have these Duracell batteries, I bought them some, some days ago to replace it. So if you're interested, I'm going to leave the link in the description below, but any other brand should do it. So now to replace it, you just have to press it very gently, like I'm doing it here with your finger. You don't have to press it too hard and that's it it's installed so pretty simple <laughs> now um allow me a few seconds i'm going to put back the case over here i mean the cover for the case like that and now i'm going to connect the power one more time so allow me a few seconds to adjust my camera and I'm going to turn on the machine. So while we're waiting, this is a good time for you to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet. That really helps my channel a lot. So thank you, thank you very much. After a few seconds uh, of waiting, we're going to see the Dell logo and it's going most likely show us the same message that we saw at the beginning. So exactly the same because we have replaced it. Now we're going to do the same BIOS setup. It's going to take us there, date and time and this in this occasion, we're going to set this, the exact uh, date and time, as you can see over here. So today it is um, September the 7th, 2025, and the time is this one at the time of um, doing this video. So I'm going to click exit. The machine is going to reboot. You see the Dell logo very quickly. And as you can see, the date is September 7th. Okay, so... Um, we now but we have to do some one more test 
So we are going to shut down the machine like this and we're going to disconnect it from the power because that was the original problem, right? So I'm going to disconnect from the power. You can see it there. And I'm going to press the power button for around 10 seconds. The video is sped up here. So to get rid of all the power stored in the capacitors, okay? So after 10 seconds, around 10 seconds, I'm going to connect it back to the power like you see me doing here. And now I'm going to turn it on. And this time it shouldn't show us the same error because the battery is new, the time is set, so everything is good. So let's turn it on, the, the logo, no error message, and we go uh, directly to the login screen. You can have Windows, Linux, doesn't make a difference. So maybe you want to watch one of these videos now. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any other comment or questions, leave it in the comment section below. And as always, as you know, I'll see you in the next video.